New versus old. The Titan Clockman has two versions. We got the old version right here and the new one. But which is really better? Well, let's equip our scientist. And we're going to see which Titan Clockman uh, lasts the longest in nightmare mode or insane mode or whatever. So let's jump in the game with the old one. Insane mode coming up. I will do 1.5 times speed. Um, because I'm not going to wait for my money to get up. Let me just give myself 3,000 so I can place him straight away. This is not cheating, okay? We're going to do optimal placement right there. And now we can just play the game normally and place our, sci our scientist. Scientist cameraman's coming down, and there we go. So, as you guys know, the old Titan Clockman, it's the OG one. It's the one we all know and love, and it probably looks really cool as well. Like, I mean, look at this. I probably like the old design more than the new design, and why is my face so serious right now? This is a serious matter, okay? We all need to know what Clockman's better, and right now we're in wave one, or wave three, I mean, and we're pretty chilling. But we also are gonna compare the ability. So, as you know, this guy has a cool little ability. We can't use it yet. We have to upgrade him, but his ability basically sends toilets backwards. The first ever, you know, backwards ability we've ever seen. Obviously, it's been re-implemented with the Titan Tri-Titan, but as far as we know, this was the first one that came out, and it's definitely one of my favorite units. I mean, this is probably one of the best units in the game, but the new one, I've not played with the new Titan Clockman, so I don't know how good he is, but I do know this guy's pretty good. But let's keep upgrading our scientist. There we go, and he's just hitting them right now. I don't think he has any other ability apart from hitting and sending them backwards, so I'm surprised. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious to see what the new guy looks like and what he does, but time will tell. For now, we got the, you know, we got to wait and see if he can keep up with all these toilets, bro. All right, yeah, we got the speed Speedy toilets coming in. They're not getting past. Oh, we our first toilet to get past. Okay, the spider toilet got past purely just because there were so many toilets. But he has to go around him like four times to actually survive. So no. Yeah, look, if he, if they have to go around four times, there's no way they're gonna survive. And we can almost upgrade him and almost unlock the ability as well. Current DPS is 1500 though. Let's upgrade him up. And now it's 3k. It just doubled with a single upgrade. But let's keep upgrading our scientists. And comment down below. Will this one unit be able to beat insane mode? Our oh, nightmare mode. I mean, I, I don't really know. Will this be able to beat it? If it was any unit to beat nightmare mode just one of them i would probably say um i'd probably say the ti the new titan clock one probably can do it but i don't know maybe if we use our abilities correctly we can do it okay can we use the ability yet no nope. we need to upgrade it again when we can upgrade him again we're gonna upgrade him and then use the ability and bro that totally oh my gosh it got really far now we got the nerd emojis coming in bro okay okay but it is quite interesting to do these experiments and if you want more videos like this then make sure you let me tickle your feet when you're sleeping hey yo anyway we can upgrade this guy in three two one and there we go we don't have the ability yet bro what we have to upgrade him one more time to get the ability then all right, that's fine. Scientist cameraman, let me upgrade you. There we go. And I've really been thinking about it, guys. I really want a Kobe unit. I actually want a Kobe unit. I've seen the Digito unit, the Bemi unit. Bro, we need a Kobe unit, and we're gonna see if the Kobe unit is better than everyone. We have to. We're gonna have to check that out. I'm really hoping we get an overpowered unit in the game. But the only way we can get the Kobe unit is everyone has to like my videos, bro. If we don't get likes on the videos, then no one's gonna want to give me a Kobe unit. I've literally been talking to Digito and the devs. They said the only way to get a unit is to be good at the game. And being good at the game is meaning you. YouTube, but yeah. We're on wave 14, though. It's pretty easy so far. I mean, nothing's troubling us. I don't want to jinx it, but we might actually beat this mode just with this one guy. And I can't wait. I can't go. I have to buy two times speed. All right, bro. I'm not buying that. But 8k, oh, just to upgrade him one more time. He is quite pricey. I'm not sure the prices of the new one, though. Who's more expensive? I don't really know. But it's fine because we will see who wins. And I'm looking serious again. And there we go. I can upgrade him. And I don't have the ability. Okay, I'm going to give myself money. Let me give myself 1500. There we go. And now let me upgrade him again. And let me show you the ability. If you didn't know already, it sends them back. Backwards. Look at that, bro. I, I just glitched. Wait, I just broke a toilet. Did you see that, bro? I just broke a toilet. How did that even happen? I don't really know. But it, it's got to wave. Okay, we're going to see how fast we can get to wave 20. Come on, quickly, quickly. Get oh, I'm buying two times speed. Whatever, I'm just going to buy it. Two times speed. Boom. What? Now we're going in two times speed. Uh, did it work? Okay, yep, it worked. We're in two times speed now, and stuff should get harder. I'm not going to lie. We're maxed out level, so all we can do now is watch, I guess. And let me just spawn in a toilet because I'm bored. Will that work? All right, we spawn a side to toilet in. Look at that. Okay, we spawn it in. Let's see. We're on wave 19. Okay, this might have been a bad idea. Well, we're gonna have to do the same when we get the upgraded one at wave 19 as well, but let's just uh, use the ability now. Send him backwards and Ayo, is he gonna kill him or not? I don't think we're gonna have to kill him, guys. It might be it might be a bad idea to do this. I'm not sure. Um, um, This is bad. The ability is really quick, though. It resets so quick. Oh, no! It got past! Bro, I don't know why he's glitching out, but yeah, it got past. Alright, well, I guess now let's use the new Titan Clockman and see if at wave 19 it can kill the scientist. Alright, we're in the next game and I need to give myself money. Okay, this one obviously costs a lot cheaper, so there we go. Put, put him down and he looks a lot cooler. So, obviously, for First things first, this guy looks a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. This guy definitely has the better model. And he also is a lot cheaper. And to upgrade him, he costs 250. And his starting DPS is already better than the last one. And instead of using a melee hit, he's literally shooting them, which is a lot cooler, to be honest. I like that design. And he has the sword. Obviously, if you didn't know, the sword is his ability. He can literally throw that sword down. 
one. Well, I'll show you guys in a minute. But we can almost upgrade him. And I need to put, oh, I need to put my scientists. I forgot. Scientists. Upgrade them. Bad boys. Up. And he just swung. He can also do a, a swinging attack. I didn't even realize. So he can, he can shoot and swing. But it's too early to tell how good he really is since we're in the beginning waves. Let's turn the speed right up, though. And there we go. The speed's going a lot faster. He's just going to swing them if they get close. And if they're far away, he just shoots. But his range is a bit small to have a, a ranged weapon. Surely his range should get a lot bigger. Because right now, this is kind of trash. Let's upgrade him, though. And it's got a bit bigger. I want it to go all the way over here, though. We'll have to see. But he's got 4K DPS on the second upgrade. He's already way better than the old Titan Clockman. So, obviously, I think right now, for, for now, he's better. But in terms of ability-wise, I'm not too sure. We're going to have to check it out. We're going to have to see how good he is with his ability. Because I don't really know. But next upgrade coming in, almost. I just got to um, save $500. And there we go. Upgrade him up. And boom. He's looking really cool still. But I'm just, I just want to see his ability, bro. I really want to get the ability down. So, then we can literally just throw the sword at loads of people. It's going to be crazy. All right, let me get myself some money just so I get the ability, bro. Let me get the money up. All right, there we go. And, oh, I need to do 18K. All right, there we go. 18K. And there we got the ability. Uh, let's spawn in, um, slash summon, uh, spawn toilet. Let's do, like, boss, like, 100 boss toilets. All right, spawn in 100 boss toilets. I didn't, I didn't think that would happen, but let's do, throw the sword. And look at this. Oh, my gosh, he just blew it up. Okay, it wasn't that good, though. It didn't do a lot of damage. Um, the, the cooldown is also 50 seconds. So, that's a big cooldown. But look at him shooting, bro. He's literally just... Bro, just keep shooting the what? Bro, that is hilarious. He just keeps spraying them. All right, so I think obviously his range is a lot better than the old Titan Clockman. But right now, the ability isn't as good. I'm not going to lie. And I don't know how good his damage is. 35k. Okay, well, let's spawn in. We're in wave 19 now. Let's spawn in the... What's it called? The scientist toilet. So let's do slash spawn toilet. Scientist toilet and see if he can kill it. Can he kill a scientist toilet? Oh, he's doing a lot better. He's doing a lot better. He's not even using the animations because how fast these toilets are coming. But um, let's throw the sword at him. Sword throw! And okay, it just went all the way over there. Okay, well, this is getting bad. Okay, I think he killed him though. Okay, he did kill him. Look, he's on 3k health now. Yeah, he killed him. Okay, so actually, he's doing uh, he's doing a lot better right now than the last toilet. So what we gotta do now is let's spawn in. Oh, we just won. Wait, what? We weren't even on the insane mode? Okay, well, we just won. Let's go back to lobby though. Well, obviously, it just proved that the, the new clockman's a lot better in strength, but let's see in trading value, which is more rare. So this is 1,800. This has 2,200 and it's been out much longer. So I would say that the old Titan Clockman's rarer in trading, but the new one, it's, you know, better in the game. So you guys got to decide. Comment down below which one you think is better. I'd say the new one, but I don't know. What do you guys think?